Hey, hey, it's Monet. If you don't know me, wait, no, hold on. Let me start that over. <laughs> hey, hey, it's Monet, or artfully known as Monet Madness, and we are back with a new video today, guys, and we're gonna be doing a digital sketchbook. All right, so I'm in Clip Studio Paint right now. I tend to bounce back and forth between Clip Studio Paint and Procreate, but Clip Studio Paint has really been giving me all the vibes lately, so here we are. Now, I've been thinking about a theme and I was having a really hard time finding one or thinking of one, but one thing that has not been able to escape my brain is I have been obsessed with drawing chibi characters in chopsticks, like getting like they're about to get eaten. So like if you saw my Instagram page, which you can follow me at Monet Madness, like I did one of Kirby already, Pikachu, and I did, I did reference them off Pinterest. So I wanna fill this sketchbook page up with some more of those. Who knows, I might turn them into stickers or something. Let's just go ahead and mix this with my other um, earlier obsession, which was Pokemon. Like I kinda like went through a whole Pokemon phase for a second there. So we're just gonna do that. So uh, this is my little um, like Bluetooth keyboard. It has shortcuts. It's designed for Procreate and it, it works very, very well for Procreate. I got this off of Amazon. Um, I'll put a link or attach a picture or whatever. Um, but it doesn't work as well with Clip Studio Paint. It works well enough that I'm still gonna use it, but I wish it just did everything. So Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is, I think, I think she'd be a really good one to, to draw. Now, I've been going back and forth with my, I guess, like drawing style lately. And I've just really been enjoying like loose, I won't say loose sketching, but really just, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this actually, hold on. Doing everything on one layer because it has like made, I don't know, it feels more real. Excuse the noise in the background, y'all, if y'all hear my, my loud kids. Yeah, I have, been enjoying doing um like one layer it just feels i don't know like i guess it feels more real or not more real but it just feels like more traditional wait a minute how is this how is this supposed to go again i don't know well, i didn't really work out all the kinks and being that I am doing this from, not even from reference at this point, I mean, cause I'm doing it on like my own, I might be having a bit of a hard time here figuring out how to make it look as chubby as my other ones were. See, the, the shortcuts on here, they are great, but the one that's meant to increase the brush size, it decreases it. And that's all I, that's all it does. So I have to go, <laughs> might have to go back and reference something else to get these, ah, to get this right. Cause <laughs> I mean, I guess it looks, I guess it looks like that. I need her eyes to be like super squished, I guess. Yeah, we need them like something like this. I had somebody comment on my, on the other one I did of Kirby. They were like, oh no, someone's gonna eat him. Or, oh no, he's about to, they're gonna eat him. And then they went back on the Pikachu one and was like, oh no, he's gonna get eaten too. And I just, I don't know why, but I just found it so funny. Like it was so funny to me. I think one reason why I said this is gonna be like a digital sketchbook because truthfully, this, I mean, I, I guess you could, they could be like finished pieces, but I've really just been enjoying not thinking too much and just enjoying the process. Similarly in a sketchbook and I'm not really sure how I'm going to finish or do this, but I think that I'm going to print all of these out and just make a like an actual like sketchbook like i'm gonna print them all out and or maybe not print them out but make a file oh, it's three o'clock already guys oh my gosh this day is flying 
Okay, see this isn't giving like super squished and I'm trying to crack the code of giving super squished. Maybe this needs to be bigger. And see, this is the benefit of doing it on one layer because first of all, well, I'll, I'm not feeling confused or pressured to even deal with a layer panel. If you do digital art, you know how it feels when you like forget which, which things are on which layers and Doing it all together like this is actually pretty fun. If y'all have any questions about any, um, like anything that I'm using, my brushes, my brush set, um, I mean, literally anything, y'all can ask me in the comments and like, I promise I won't gatekeep. If there's anything that you see that you're like, oh my gosh, what's that? Where'd she get that? And what is she using? Feel free to ask me and I will let you know. See this, okay, actually, it, it it's coming. It's doing something here. Okay, it's doing, it's giving something. It looks like just like a mochi jigglypuff. It's giving mochi. Which I absolutely love. If y'all ever, if y'all never had mochi before, y'all should try it. My favorite mochi is actually the green tea. And I like getting it from Whole Foods because theirs seem to taste like the best as far as like not having authentic. I mean, not saying it's not authentic, but like fresh mochi or going to a place that specializes in making mochi. But yeah, this Jigglypuff is giving me straight up mochi vibes. I'm kind of, I'm using a new brush I haven't used before and I kind of like it, but it's kind of making um, almost too painterly, if that makes any sense. Like it's kind of mixing the colors in a way that works, but then at the same time, I'm not too sure that I like it. I think I might like it because it's just, you know, learn some pretty cool things when it comes to using the lasso tool. And yeah, these have been like major time savers. Sorry, don't know why I'm talking like that, but. <laughs> okay, so now let's give this jiggly puff some highlights. Oops, let's give her some because she is big and squishy. And I know you might be asking, why doesn't she just sing her way out of this situation? Whoever is about to eat her, she can just sing and they'll fall asleep. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, I don't like how those eyes look. Don't like how those look either. Oh, I think I'm just gonna leave it dark like that. My secret, I like to put squares behind my work. And my secret is I do complementary colors. Red, pink, will have the same like green, whatever. So if it's like a light pink, I will do like a mint, a mint um, green. And I actually think I don't like that one. I might do it just a little lighter. And I try to make it a little off-centered. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm digging that. I like that. I like how that looks. Let's move on to another one, shall we? Okay, since we did Jigglypuff, let's do, let's do, <laughs> let's do Psyduck. I haven't watched Pokemon in a very long time, but I do remember Psyduck just being, okay, wait, first of all, I don't even know if he's gonna look good. Like, if he's gonna look good, <laughs> to be edible. We're gonna do something like that. I'm gonna just make his little body. I think I should make his beak smaller. He has to look, he has to look cute and appetizing. I don't think anybody wants to eat a big, big, big build <laughs> Psyduck. I don't think anybody wanna eat Psyduck anyways though. Like, let's be real. He, he just, he wasn't, he isn't the smartest. Use your water gun attack. But didn't he like transformed into like a really cool, was it Gold Duck? Was that his name? I can't remember. And this is why I said like doing it in one layer. I just think it's more honest. Oh my gosh, this is like kind of morbid. Like it's kind of morbid. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like feeling like, yeah, this is right. Maybe even a little, a little lighter. Okay, that's better for me. Yeah, he's like, this yellowish color oh he looks super squished oh no i mean i guess oh yes that's how we want him to look but he's like oh no i'm about to get eaten that's why i said maybe i shouldn't be doing these because these are kind of 
I don't want to think about somebody eating these. Maybe, okay, so maybe they aren't like real Pokemon. We're gonna pretend that they are dessert shaped Pokemon. Mochi, mochi shaped Pokemon. Yes, and he had those little, his little, <laughs> what you call these? Head feathers, I guess. I really wish this brush tool worked. It would like really save my life. Yeah, this is just not, it's not, it's not doing something for me. I don't know if it's my proportions. I think it might be the proportions that's throwing me off here, but it's not giving me that super squished feeling that I want. Maybe I just gotta keep going. This is what I have come to learn about drawing or painting, digital painting in one layer is that it kind of takes a while for you to get where you're trying to go. But when you get there, it's so rewarding, like for real. And then also the time lapses are so much cooler when you do it in one layer because you have all these paint strokes versus when you use, you know, your layers and your fill tools to quickly fill in your your spaces and it's like yeah I get the time saving options you have but doing it this way I don't know it just it just feels more honest guys it feels more honest this does <laughs> I don't okay this is not giving a um, side duck maybe oh okay I think I have to open his eyes because that was one of his things his eyes always looked so lost. They always looked so lost. I do want him to look like he's like super squished in this, but at the same time, we got to. Okay, so Psyduck had these like super lost eyes, these jelly bean eyes. Oh my gosh, he looks so, <laughs> he looks stressed. But it's still, it's not giving, it's not giving. And I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong, but I do know that this is why I say it's a digital sketchbook because that's what your sketchbooks are for. For you to problem solve. Oh yes, okay, okay, I think I, I, think I got it. Hold on, hold on. Sketchbooks are meant to be a place for, I mean, it's, it's for whatever you want to make it, but what I like to use my sketchbooks for is for experimenting and learning and really figuring stuff out because you don't have to show anybody your sketchbooks. It's like your own personal diary and it's a catalog of your failures, your achievements. I think, I think we all have those pages where, <laughs> um, I just can't get over his face. This is like really funny to me. But um, I think we all have those pages where it's like, well, what the heck is this? I am disowning, I'm disowning you. Like you're no son of mine. No son of mine! Did he have eyebrows? Does this even look like him? Like, or it just looks like a regular duck. I tried to make him really look like him by the eyes, which I think helped, but I'm not quite sure. But yeah, like you get it? Like I just love, I just love doing like one layer now it's i won't say now because i've kind of been on it but it's something about it that just i don't know it just gives me some some level of satisfaction yeah, he looks he looks like he's about to burst he looks like it's about to pop yep it's still it's still missing something i'm okay with that because we will continue to find, I don't even know why I just did that. I just completely, I was trying to clean it up, but I like made it even weirder. But I think I'm pretty happy with this one. Oops, I think I'm pretty happy with this one. I say I'm happy with it and I go and just change a whole bunch of stuff, but guess what? I can do that because it's my sketchbook, my digital sketchbook. Why do I have to keep saying digital sketchbook? Cause I know it's not a real sketchbook. That's why. Y'all better not come in the comments talking about that. Like, I know it's not a real sketchbook. Actually, no, it is a real sketchbook because I say it's a real sketchbook. So yeah, but yeah. 
I think I'm happy with this for now. I will definitely be adding more, but for now, we're only gonna do two today because I have some other things that I have to do. We will be filling this up and we will, we'll be adding more, more Pokemon. We'll be adding more Pokemon. Sometimes I have to do like multiple times to get the type of square that I want. I kind of want this to be a rectangle. Well, all right guys, that's gonna be all for today. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I have way more content coming. I'm really excited about growing my channel and my art community in general. Um, y'all can follow me, Monet Madness, pretty much any platform if I'm on it, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, X, or whatever. I'm not really on there much, but I'm on there. Um, and oh, Kara. Kara is like the new platform for artists now, and I'm on there as well. So yeah, thanks again for watching, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.